Welcome back to part two of The Power of Words. Now, let's take a look at Dr. Nikola Tesla. In 1942, the famous scientist Dr. Nikola Tesla said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. He's talking about sound as well. The whole of the universe is energy, and each basic element of the known atomic chart consists of energy at different rates of vibration. This is what he was saying. The difference between any two elements is the difference in both atomic structure and vibrational rates. There is a frequency or vibration of energy that fills the universe. Now, this is something that Tesla um, recognized and emphasized way back in the 1940s. He actually understood the key to how the universe works. This energy is not only beneficial, but also essential to all living cells, whether human, plant or animal. Man utilizes this energy with his mind. Every thought is transmitted by this energy energy. Every aspect of life in the physical depends on this basic energy or power of the universe. And through vibration, the, sorry, the vibration of sound, you actually get to affect change even um, more deliberately. Okay, because the power of thought also requires intense focus. But if you, if you are able to focus the intensity through sound in the proper intonation and vibration using the words of power, you get to do the same thing. It's all to do with energy, frequency and vibration at a sound level. Now, spiritual growth is our only purpose and reason for being alive on earth. Each individual must learn how to use, utilize this energy for spiritual growth and constructive purposes. We do this in the form that we call magic, okay? This is the full meaning of magic. Um, okay, so spiritual growth, is there any purpose and the reason for being alive on earth? Yes, I believe this is true. Now, the constructive, positive use of this energy raises the level of consciousness of man and in turn raises his vibrational rate or frequency, and this is what the dark magicians don't really get. Every individual has a different rate of vibration. All of man's earthly problems are created by his thought projections and then the deliberate projection of these uh, thoughts through a verbalized medium, which is sound in the spoken form. Okay, this is the cursing part. What we project from our mind in the form of thoughts we create and receive um, affects everything around us. And it has a definite impact on anything physical and also metaphysical. Spiritual growth requires the elimination of all negative thought which dissipates the life force or vital energy. Once again, is something the dark magicians don't get. And they're actually diminishing themselves in the long run. Every individual knowingly or otherwise makes use of this energy. Our bodies use this energy to heal injuries, to reduce stress and fatigue, and to grow both physically and spiritually and magically, we could say. Without exception, everyone, absolutely everyone, has the ability to attract as much of this universal energy as the individual's body and mind require and is able to handle and the only way you're able to handle it is through proper training unfortunately the seemingly hectic pace of modern life has most of us looking um, after day-to-day -day cares with precious little time to concentrate on attracting sufficient quantities of this vital universal energy to meet our specific needs or to help us create the world that we really want to live in now, like the secrets of the tuning forks that are created to produce certain vibrations in sound by being keyed to certain frequencies, so we can also use words to affect matter and energy around us. 
Let's have a look at the power of words. Once you know how words, along with sounds, can be used to direct energy through vibration to produce magical effects, you will then know how words are even more powerful than swords. Now note, a bit of wordplay here. When you move the letters around in words and take the S and put it in front of the W, what does it spell? Sword. Now this is by no accident. All words in the English language are carefully designed and put together in a way that produces magical effects. And let's say dark magicians know this. Okay, this is why they're so obsessed with it, even though they've missed the whole point and they've also, um, you know, lost sight of, of the long-term effects or detrimental effects if they're not concentrating on the positive because the negative is really draining. Um, okay, so anyway, you may not even have realized that on the mundane, ordinary level, the medium of television, radio, and more commonly now the internet, and also music, um, through all these mediums, you have been carefully reprogrammed. Okay? On a subliminal level, you might say, because you haven't been uh, realizing that you have been controlled to a certain extent through these mediums. And you have been affected to a certain extent or level. And some of you may even have been enslaved by it. Your thoughts and your actions have been controlled. Now this quote from The Matrix will probably help wake you up. It's by Morpheus. And it's been quoted elsewhere before, but I'm going to quote it again. Uh, the Matrix is everywhere and is all around us, even now in this very room. You can see it when you look outside your window, when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you, are, when you go for a walk. You can feel it near the church when you pay your taxes. The wool has been pulled over your eyes to keep you from the truth. And Neo says, what truth? And Morpheus says that you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell and not even touch. A prison for your mind. Now, The Matrix was not just a movie. It was an experiment done by um, the, the elite to a certain extent, these elite magicians in society uh, to see how people would react to a movie that was telling them the actual truth but in a metamorphic um, kind of way and these dark magicians you may notice if you've been uh, watching they and also the elite they like to tell you what they're doing to you right now and what they are planning to do to you through the medium of movies and tv so that they condition you. And when you actually see it play out in reality, because you've been exposed to it in movies and TV and you've been conditioned to it, the reactions of the masses will be severely limited. This is actually what's going on. Now, the binding power of words and also contracts is a way to con you and bind you into uh, an agreement that is different from your basic human rights. And they try to bind you in a way that uh, always favors them uh, over to you. Now, words can be used as magic spells because when you speak words, you're actually casting your thoughts and vibrations into the Earth's magnetic field. Or we can call it the magical field which is the energy field that creates the reality of Earth and all around it. And if you're not careful, certain words that you cast out, um, you know, and you, you say to an individual in hate or whatever, it's, it's a form of casting a spell without even being aware of it. 
Have you ever wondered why when the first things that you get taught in school is how to spell? Now, when you go to school for the first time in your life, you're actually taught the alphabet, which is made up of letters. And these are designed using secret geometries and ideograms, which are written, um, which are written symbols that represent ideas. Now, after learning this all-important alphabet, you're taught how to spell using these letters of the alphabet. And, of course, this is to prepare you for the day where you will cast magic spells through the use of spelling. And did you notice that magic spells and spelling have the word spell in them? This is also no accident. It's right in your face, but it's, it's hidden right there, right in your face, And the intent is uh, to use the spelling to cast magic spells. Um, But people are too ignorant and lacking in knowledge that they have no idea that what they are actually doing when they're using harsh words on one another. So using these swear words or curse words um, is a way of binding others. And this is what they want you to do. Everybody will end up binding each other and limiting each other in a certain, to a certain extent, I should say. So are you starting to get the big picture yet? Okay, this is one reason that uh, parents in the know will, will tell their kids to stop cursing when they swear too much, even at a subconscious level. You know, cursing, we intuitively know that it's not a good thing that we're doing, right? Okay, so through the study of formulae and magic, and if you focus on the positive, then you'll be able to cast spells and you'll be able to recognize certain words, not only in English, but in Latin and in other languages that can cause actual positive changes. And this is where you can start to manifest the type of reality that you're looking for, that you uh, hope to attain and uh, things for yourself on this material world, as well as on the uh, spiritual planes. Okay. So once you realize that magic is real and you become more aware of how dark magicians are using magic spells to control you and are tricking people to uh, curse each other, um, you know, on on a daily basis, um, then they won't be able to trick you anymore. You'll be able to break out of that and f- focus on actually using words, how to intonate these words, how to cast spells through intonation and proper sounds to cause the vibrational uh, effects that amplify the magical rituals, the positive magical rituals that no doubt um, you are employing for the benefit of yourself and also humankind. So since you now know how magic affects you, next time you make a wish using words or yell at someone using curse words, you may want to think twice. Uh, before you actually vocalize those words, especially to your loved ones, okay? There is a reason why they say, be careful what you wish for. All right, so that brings us to a conclusion. Just remember, study proper uh, intonation and also vocalization and make sure you put and feel that vibrational resonance when you cast your positive spells and you do your rituals where you need to intonate and vibrate those words to bring about these positive changes, okay? And be careful when you're using words against your loved ones or your friends or people about you, okay? Think twice before you Use any uh, curse words that you uh, don't really intend on using. All right, so I'm going to leave you there. You can study the subject even further. But once again, the words of power work not only 
through the proper selection of uh, certain words, but also how you intonate and then you vibrate them out to create that resonance, which is uh, energy that you're transmitting to affect change. All right, so uh, have a great week ahead, and I hope to talk with you again or present with you with um, more information on magic sometime soon. All right, take care. Thanks.